we'll go from there. Hey, g'day, it's Josh here from Physique Essentials and the Elite Physique Project. I'm with my recently graduated client. Jace, how are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. What's happening in your world? Um, well, today, quiet day. Yep. Got a week off work. Oh, luck. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Um, no, that's cool, that's cool. Now, look, I wanted to jump on, I wanted to, um, you know, chat because you've achieved some amazing goals up until this point. There's amazing more things to come. Um, and before we get into that, um, just a little bit about you and your background and stuff like that and some of the other things that you've done health, fitness, physique-wise that can kind of bring us up to date. Yeah, so um, me, my name's Jason. I'm originally from Wales, 52 years old, which I cannot believe, but um, I'm a police, in, live in Victoria, I'm a police officer in Victoria. Um, as far as fitness in the past um played a lot of sport when i was younger up until about the age of 35 um yeah then um after that once i stopped playing sport done various things various times in the gym various times riding my bike and mixing and matching um going from periods of high activity low activity to watching what i eat to not watching what i eat and I think over that period of time, when I was thinking about it earlier, is as it's got further on in time, that sort of up and down yo-yo thing has probably increased in its frequency. Okay. Um, yo-yoing yeah, itself. What's that? Sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, probably the, 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 the more frequent of, or the more frequent the times when trying to get in shape and then the wheels falling off and then back on. It's probably It's probably increased. Okay. Maybe that's the thing with age. Maybe that's the thing with changing careers, that kind of thing. And when I've had to and when I've not. And yeah, probably more off than on, I would say. Uh, more recently, like more off and on. Yeah, yeah. Certainly yeah. over the last. And it's when you look back on it, you don't even realize you, you look back on it and you've been doing it for 15 years, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that, was, that was one of the things that we discussed at the start as well. Like, you know, it's there's always a history there's a journey of the history you know what i mean and it's not just like you know this will be the first time i'm trying to get back into shape but it can go back from you know the last time i was in shape was maybe my early 20s or anything yeah, like yeah. that or when i finished playing football or sport or whatever so they could quite easily be a 10 20 30 year plus journey yeah definitely i can i can think of times Certainly times when I've, when I say get into shape, but a significant effort. And then I'm back to where I started yep. or worse. And yeah. I can think of, you know, half a dozen times when I've, at least when I've done that, that's not including all the little mini ones in between, you know, that's, yeah. So, yeah. And that, and that, and that does really touch on something there. Like, think about it, like, you know, it's, it, it can be quite simple in that regard to lose weight you know, and drop the sentiments and stuff like that. But lifestyle and other demands can kind of take over or you just lose your mojo or go back to those old habits. And yeah, before you know it, you've you've put on the weight plus more. And it's usually That's the right, plus yeah. more that then becomes the instigator or the desire and motivation to do something again. So that's part and yeah. parcel of that yo-yo. It's kind of like this perpetual cycle where you lose five, but you have to then regain five plus two, and then it's like, oh, better do something again. So the net result from doing that 20, 30 times might be a, I'm now 10 or 20 kilo, kilos that I'm yeah, heavier yeah, than yeah. I've ever been. Like this is my all-time peak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can remember I can remember the one of the times, which is probably, I'm thinking probably four or five years ago, yeah. where I hit the high 90s and was yeah. thinking, oh, my God. And now, and then we're five years later and we're in the, the mid you know, between 100 and 110, kind of that range, you know, so. Yeah. And I'm, and yeah. I, and it's, I, I don't think I'd be unreasonable in saying that when you hit that, that mid 90s at that point, it was like, oh shit, like I got to do something. And yeah. how, how do I get here? This will, I'll never go past this. This is it. This is it. And then over yeah. time, it starts to, to creep up and to yeah. creep up and to creep up. And that's something else yeah. to touch on too. Like, if you think about it, every time that you've then embarked on it, you have been successful in losing weight. Yes. So it then becomes a, 
an issue of sustainability, maintenance, scalability. It's like, how do I then keep the weight off? If I know how to lose it, how do I keep it off? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I said there was times when I went all out, maybe not in the right way. Yep. And then I don't even know what happened, tell the truth. I don't even know what happened. One next minute, you just started or worse. Yeah. And then you do it again, whatever it may be, so whether it's some fad thing or whatever it may be. I think where that comes from and what I try and do slightly different, it's very easy to hit that point. Again, share your own experience. It's very easy. You hit a point. It's like, I've got to do something. And let's just say you're at a, an all-time highest weight and it's a matter of, I'm just going to reach out. I'm going to find the latest training program. I'm going to jump on a diet. Yeah. I'm going to go and buy some supplements. Mm. And by default, like if you start eating less and moving more, you will lose weight but you're actually missing the very reason of why it's there in the first place. It's very easy to treat yeah. the symptom. You know what I mean? And this is where you see a lot of these, you know, the, the get shredded for summer gym challenge or yeah. whatever. They, they bring yeah. in a bandaid solution. It's just do the diet and mm. do the program. Don't ask questions, but you're never ever, you know, given the, the proposition or the opportunity to go, why am I there? And the, why am I here? Yeah. Why do I yeah, have this right. excess weight in the in the first mm -hmm. place? And then once I remove it, how do I then keep it off? Yeah. So it's almost like yeah, in some definitely. ways you, you become a weight loss expert. You know, you know how to lose it, <laughs> you know how to sign up, you know how to start a diet, but mm -hmm. get to that point where it's just I've got to do something different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, which I've done plenty of times and I've I've tried it all at some time with uh um whether it's a keto diet which worked well but yep. you can't do that forever you can't do that forever it's, I, it's um, and that's look and that's and that's one of the propositions i i have with people as well and it's like yeah like you, you can do this now for the next six weeks 10 weeks 12 weeks whatever but do you still want to be doing this in the next five years 10 years no, time it's impossible. and if not it's like well again like sometimes our um What's, what am I looking for? You know, some, sometimes what we hold dear do changes. Like our opinions change, you know, as we get yeah. older and like I used to be all about this and now I'm being that. So fair enough, things can change. But I know if I wanted to get in the shape, but someone told me, well, you can't eat meat ever again, or you can never eat carbs ever again, or you can never eat chocolate mm. ever again, or you can't ever have a burger. I'm not yeah. even going down that road. It's like, that's, no. that's crazy. I plan on being here for another 50 years. So yeah it's, it's it's a long time yeah and no, i've done it i said i've done it and i did the um I've done i remember when i first got it when i was first applying for the police and then I, i've been to the uk and i come back i was over 100 kilos then and i had an email i had to talk a month six weeks to hit a certain weight yep for the and and i just went on like an extreme extreme i mean um seven eight hundred calories a day kind of thing just to drop as much weight as possible which i made that weight but yep. I mean, to be fair, part of the test then was um, one of the simple, it was just five push-ups, and I could hardly do them, you know? That's what, it's just such a, so it's just such an extreme thing. Mm. Um, but, but it just goes far to show from, that, Far from sustainable. No, but it just, and it goes to show, it, it, it just highlights um, the other potential pitfall. It's like, yeah, you can go hard. You can go hardcore. But in saying yeah. that, like, you, you don't win prizes for going hardcore. Or I should say, in the end, the only prize that you're going to win is a weight coming back and feeling more frustrated and strung out than ever. That's right. Yeah. And I can remember then I was three quarters away through the academy. Yep. And I'm 100 kilos again. And then it was like, oh, graduation's coming up. I don't want to look like that in the photo. So then did it again. And yeah. then, you know, so there you go. And, so there's, and, there's two times in, you know, a year. Yeah. And, it, and, and again, then, like, being part of that perpetual yo-yo cycle, you know it's bad. You know how it's going to end. But you also yeah, know yeah. then what the first world re results are going to be. You know that, yeah. yeah, in six months' time, I'm going to put the weight back on. But if I just knuckle down for a few weeks, I'm going to drop eight, 10 kilos and everything will be yeah, great. Yeah, that's right. I get the graduation. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. And then you have to go through the shit storm of putting the weight back on and going through all of that. So, no, nah, there's definitely a, a, a different method. Now, speaking of yeah, another definitely. question I wanted to ask, like I know like with police and shift work and some of the shifts that you've worked, like crazy night shifts mm. that never seem to end one after the other. Yeah. And you've still been able to make really good results, like really good progress. 
So what do you yeah. think the difference has been this time? I I just think it was a mental change. It was yeah. a, for me, it was just a mental change and uh, was the main thing. I think pretty much from the start, you know, we had the weekly um, weekly um, lessons, et cetera. And like you say, started looking a bit more internally. I know you spoke to me a lot about, you know, eating being an emotional choice, that kind of thing. So, And on night shift, it did used to be, I'm tired. What's the only place that's open at night mm. is McDonald's. Yep. Um, and it would be seven nights straight, seven McDonald's <laughs> and that kind of thing. So it was that. To me, it was a met. It was a looking inside a, a mental change in the way. I, yeah, just the way I looked at it and the way I um, viewed it. You know, preparing meals and etc. Yeah, cool. And yeah, so that that was the main difference, I would yeah. say. And and even touching on that too, like preparing meals and things. Yeah, it's very easy. We can get stuck in the idea of the plan, but I think it's the purpose which is even more important, because the yeah. purpose of it is what gives you then. The desire and the action ability to follow a plan per se. You know what I mean? Yes. Like if there's no desire to to eat better, if there's no desire to prepare better, and even this, this situation, if there's no desire to find the pitfalls or where you feel that you're coming undone. Um, you know, classic yeah. example there, if you've identified that, you know, seven days straight at McDonald's at night doesn't work for me, then I need to create <laughs> something different. Yeah. Yeah, and again, it's like, and that's what I mean. Like people often think, you know, just give me the plan and I and I'll run with it. But you can then fall into this habit of I've just got to blindly eat this and I can't deviate and don't ask questions. But again, as you just said, like if you're doing a keto thing forever, no one just yeah. wants to follow a plan forever. No, like, no, no. And even even now, I'm thinking of other. Things. I think remember doing the juice fast thing as well. That just sprung. I forgot I'd done that. Yeah. So all these all these extreme things that. Yeah. Like you say, it's just um papering over the cracks really for a short period of time. And then uh, they do. They 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 just treat the band-aid, but they miss completely the reason of why it's needed or what has led you to this position in the in the first place. Yeah, again, that's right. Lifestyle yeah. is is such a it's a huge influence, you know, things like shift work and stuff, demands of family, all the other things that we want yeah. to do with our free time. But again, mindset. And I know sometimes like people talk about mindset and it's it's not, you know, for me anyway, it's not the kumbaya sitting on a hill, let's kind of chant and yeah. get ourselves in a good frame of mind. It's really just comes down to owning our own shit. It's like this yeah, is yeah, like yeah, if, I'm, right. if I'm 10 or 15 or 20 kilos overweight, it's not fast food's mm. fault or anyone else's fault. It's my fault because I put myself here. Exactly. I've just been yeah. making really poor choices. So mm. why have I been making those choices? Why? What can I do mm. then to to fix it? I could change jobs, sure, but that might not necessarily be on the card. So <laughs> how do I then have yeah. to navigate those same responsibilities that I have, but just to be able to make a better choice? So taking ownership, yeah. discovering what the real truth is, and then that's when mm. the plan starts to formulate. Yeah, definitely. And taking ownership was a big thing of what yeah. you do. And, and even early on, you know, when I had the trip to Sydney and things like that, and I mean, that would have been an opportunity, well, not an opportunity, a, an excuse to just go eat out three times a day, eat whatever, that kind yeah. of thing. But I, you took ownership, you made the right choices, all the best choices within, and then that was a big one for me because I come back from that week um, with, um, I'm not going to, can't remember if I lost or whether I maintained weight, but anyway, whichever, you know, coming back from there and experiencing, you know, going out, we're out eating a lot. Yeah. That was a big one for me. And then yeah. uh, definitely, definitely. And again, like, and I, I love um, when we have time together and there's lots of disruptions. You know, I yeah. think, you know, if I ever work in a summer and it's very clinical and they're just, you know, they've had months off work and they're just sitting at home and time's their own and everything's fantastic and they're not going anywhere. There's no excuse not to be exceptional. But on the flip side, that's not what life is. There's always no, changes, not. there's no. work changes, there's sick kids, there's yeah. holidays and all this sort of stuff. And the more stuff that we have to deal with or the more mm. we may have perceived it to be an obstacle is really just an opportunity in disguise. And I know coming up to that trip, you know, we'd had lots of chats back and forth and looking you know, yeah. coming into different plans and stuff where you can then go away and still enjoy the things that you want, 
to a degree. Yeah. To a degree. There's unfortunately there are some rules in this world. You know, we just even and if we kind of work with them, it doesn't mean that we can't have holidays. It doesn't mean that you know we can't go away, we can't eat out at restaurants and stuff like that. We just have to still be somewhat aware. And if we just keep yeah. making most of our choices still determined towards that goal, and it doesn't mean that you can't have carbs or anything like that, you can come mm. away or come back, sorry, and be better than what you left. Mm. And that can be a real eye-opener because all of a sudden it's like, holy shit, because any other time I would have gone, I would have come back easy two, three, four kilos heavier. That would have just yeah, been the definitely. expectation, the norm. Now that mm. I can still have that experience and come back and I feel like I haven't, slow down at all if anything this has now armed me with even more confidence it's like well this does yeah. work yeah definitely and then and it was back... um yeah sorry yeah and then coming back from there and also seeing that not doing the old stuff doing the new stuff didn't detract from the the holiday in one single little bit in fact it probably improved it because awesome yeah I th yeah so yeah. Uh, that, that is definitely. that's really cool and then we, when mm. we look at the disruptions, yeah, I know that you've done a couple of weeks where there's just been, I think one was 13 night shifts in a row. And then you've yeah, had absolutely. a couple of, yeah, you've gone this trip that you went away for you know, holidays again, all this sort of stuff. Um, still yeah. being able to lose eight kilos or just over eight kilos of fat exclusively. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which, yeah. Which was remarkable. And also too, no loss in lean strength, you know, and lean mass. Yeah. And when you said before, when you don't yeah. do crazy stuff in the past where you'd you know, lose yeah, lean strength. Yeah. So, you're still progressing in the gym, not feeling like you're, mm. you know, missing out or anything. Um, and we're closing no, no, no. in on some, you know, really big goals now. Like these are real yeah. jaw dropping. You know what I mean? Like when you take 20 centimeters off the waist, like that is a significant goal. That's that's yeah, where yeah. no one can ignore that. It's not like this just no. happened. It's like, no, that's that's life changing. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose that this time was like when you say there of fat mass and keeping the lean that's where when you do the extreme things you lose weight yeah but you don't even though you lose body fat but you also lose a significant amount of all the stuff you don't want to lose as well yeah. you know so this has been uh and again yeah, i think definitely part, part of that too is actually just also really embracing and understanding our goals you know i mean because it's very easy to say oh i just want to lose x you know, x amount of weight i want to lose 10 kilos i want to lose five kilos but i'll always put the proposition of Look, if you wanted to be or helping you understand what the goal is, like you could just lose five kilos, but you could also be slower, fatter, weaker, have less mass, yeah. less strength, look yeah. worse, be yeah. more susceptible to disease and illness. But you could be yeah. five kilos lighter on the scales. Just eat Milky Ways and you'll be fine. Just get an energy deficit. But yes. if you want to be fitter, stronger, leaner, yeah. look better with the shirt off, then we just yeah. got to follow a few simple guidelines. And then the real benefit, the real goal power to that is making them work for our lifestyle, not sacrificing our lifestyle to follow an arbitrary program. You know what I mean? It's like, what's the point of giving up all the fun things or social things, going away, going out for dinner, whatever it is, because I've just got to be at home following my keto plan. Because there'll, there'll yeah. be a matter of time when you just sit back and go, I'm cooked, enough's enough. I'm yeah, done. no, definitely. No, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. So if you've been there, do you feel that this has been a real change? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And um yeah, from quite early on as well. I think that I, I don't know what just I said that 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 sort of change, that looking inside, why am I here? Yeah. That kind of thing. And then and they're just slipping into it quite easy and it becoming almost routine but also also routine or to uh, and not say not be tempted by other things it didn't even it started to not even cross my mind you know we'd go out for dinner and i'd make the and then when we did go out i might have steak and veggies and yep. and whatever it may be and not have the chips or have the salad and not even want the dessert and not sure. you know before you just i don't even know why know why we're eating it really yeah well i think so that really comes was. down to you then in just embracing step number one you know what I mean? And yeah. that is about taking ownership. It's very yeah. easy to come into a process like this and try and rely on willpower and to whinge about the things that you can't have. Mind you, you could have whatever you want. It's just showing you how to yeah. do it. But it's very yeah. easy to come into that with that sort of um, confrontational mindset because sometimes we don't want to be presented with the realization that 
whilst everything I've done in the past has worked to the degree of, yes, I have lost weight, it's failed to deliver what I really want. And that's that long term term sustainable change. Yeah, definitely. So you've got to be yeah. able to own it. It's like, all right, it sucks. It's kind of bitter that I'm here, but I am making a decision to kind of fix this once and for all. And when you do, it becomes a very simple and streamlined process. And that's what I mean. Like, yeah, so if it's definitely. one thing that, you know, all the guys that I've worked with who have achieved like the similar sort of results that you have, one thing they will share, it's it's been simple. It's It's been straightforward. And it has to be. Yeah. If this was yeah. really, really hard, then mm. the sustainability factor would be out the window. It's like, I've got to, I, I can't do this forever. But it needs to be flexible. It needs to work with your lifestyle. It needs to be able to give you options. It needs to say, going out for dinner, awesome. Going to a friend's wedding, awesome. Go do those things, have yeah. fun. Just don't kind of yeah. lose sight of what you're doing. And and then that's it. Yes. And it's, it really is one of those things where, you know, you can have your cake and eat it too. You can be in shape and have a great lifestyle and be flexible in the decisions that you make. And everyone will sit back and go, how the hell do you do that? I'm mm-hmm. just it just everything's dialed in so that's really cool and do you feel now do you are you feeling somewhat confident that you'll be able to now maintain this or i should say continue to build upon this has been a catalyst change um yes cool. I'm, i don't know if i'm 100 percent there which is obviously i'm going to continue <laughs> but um but you know i you think know so i think in, in saying that though are we ever 100 percent there no, that's right. And I suppose I, think, I don't know I th- until you I think if you are if you are if, if you could honestly say honest, you know, this is me, because I'm not a hundred percent. Because I have to yeah. have that element of doubt in everything, because the element of doubt lets me question everything else that I see that's out there and then lets me validate the path that we're on. Yeah. If that makes yeah. any sense. So I got I got, I got a friend of yeah. mine and he, he was working with someone else and he was doing like two and a half hour training sessions. Yeah, no, like, no, no. I'm, I'm... And I'm like, maybe that's maybe that's the path. Maybe I should do that. And you start questioning things. Yeah, and it's no, like, no. hang on, how does that work in my busy lifestyle? Then I look yeah, at the no, results I'm, I'm, from you guys get, and it's like, it doesn't. It's no, kind of yeah, actually right. crazy. Yeah. No, I'm confident with uh, with what we've been doing and the methods cool. and everything. And the even the, um, I suppose, it, I, I didn't question but in, with the training at the start. I looked at it and went, well, there's only eight working sets here for this workout. It's, like, it's the rest of my workout. <laughs> It's like, yeah, so even that, but once when, when you start getting in, into that and realizing some of the, the lifts we we're doing and, you know, and obviously you're pushing yourself as well. You're not, you're not, you know, it, you know, that, that was enough. It was yeah. enough. It's it. you're, in, you're in there just to create a change and to get out and enjoy yeah, it, yeah, you know, yeah. really to try and create the fastest possible result, the result, the most impactful result in the least amount of time by doing the least amount of work, eating the most yeah, amount of yeah. food and having the most amount of flexibility. And most yeah, guys, right. yeah. most guys want to do the complete opposite. They will sit back and yeah. go, oh, I want to train for six months, I want to train for 12 months. And I'm like, you train forever. Like you are going to train for yeah, the rest that's of your right. life. But in saying that, yeah. I want to teach yeah. you something. I want to teach it to you as fast as I possibly can. And also yeah. too, like you might love training, but why be in the gym six days a week if you could be in there for three days and get the same result, if not yeah. better? Yeah. Like, yeah. why do you want to sign yourself up to a diet that you absolutely hate when I'm telling you that you can eat what you want within reason, within frameworks. That's what we're discovering. Yeah, sure. sure. Um, why would you want to fork out hundreds of dollars a week on supplements that don't work? Why would you mm. want to sacrifice time of the family and loved ones and stuff because you've got to be on this plan? But that's what we've kind of been led to believe that if I want the result, I have to be hardcore. I have to do all the miserable things. I have to eat the food that I mm. hate. I have to do the workouts that I don't enjoy. And that's just simply not true. It's not. No, it's right. Yeah. It yeah. is something that we really can manipulate to create the outcomes that we want. And the outcome isn't just the physicality. It's not just about getting lean, but it's, you know, would you really want to be lean and awesome and fit and, you know, virile if you're training three hours a day, seven days a week. No. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? It's like, I want to get out there and do yeah. other things. So that, that to yeah. me, is a real success. So, And even for me, when I um, when I start thinking about that before, about, you know, I've got, I've got, I'm here again. And I need to get back to, you know, or I'm, I'm back where I started or worse or whatever. As well as the diet thing, it, it was the training thing as well. And then you start, um 
thinking about you know what training do I need to do and then I'll be thinking well, I need to do this amount of weight training I need this circuit training but if I want this I want this and even that started to turn into something that wouldn't have been sustainable you know not yeah. not just the nutrition side but the training side yeah where I'm trying to say well if I need to do this much cardio and you do this much weights and all then you're, you're into you're not gonna get a day off kind of thing yep. just to cram all that in and yeah. it, it's not needed no. again and then, you know, that's all specific to the goals and the results but then also to the lifestyle as well and there are things that we've talked about, you know, the, the, the more demands that you have actually on your time and your energy, your resources, your sleep, your recovery, all that sort of stuff, more isn't always better. You know, we're just, we're trying to, to optimize all things possible. You know, so what is the right type of training and the right volume that's going to suit you for your goal and your lifestyle? Yeah. What's going to yeah. be the best way to eat? Not only for you to achieve the goal, but then also too to suit work, shifts, family, yes. all that sort of yeah. stuff. So you can create this again, as I said, like it's a lifestyle or creating a purpose and a yeah. path that supports the goals that you have, the preferences that you want, and then ultimately the lifestyle that you both live in terms of choice and obligation. Yeah, the things yeah. that we want to do, and then also too, like an obligation, like I don't want to really go to work seven o'clock on a Friday night, but kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's cool, man. That's really really cool. All right, we'll go. We'll wrap this up. But um, if you've just got one final thought that you could share about this whole process and 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 what we've been on, what would be that? Oh, I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> or would you recommend it? Like, if someone else is sitting here, like, if if you oh. could. If you could go back to where you were three months, so we know the, we know the decision that you made, but let's just yeah. say you're talking to someone and I'm in the same position that you were in three months ago and they're sitting on the fence and they're like, I don't know what to do. What would you say? Honestly. Yeah. All right. Um, I've obviously shared my experience with people already anyway of, of what I'm, I'm doing, but yeah. Um, I'd be telling them to get in touch with you. That's what I'm yeah. telling them to do. But, but um, I suppose the thing for me was it's been... I suppose the simplicity of it, but the way also the way we've built on it and the um, the way it's changed your thinking about it, that's been the biggest thing for me. Cool. That's been the, definitely been the biggest thing for me, but also, you know, and how easy it's been to adapt um, and through each step that we've done yep. that sort of um, instills that a bit more and just each week that little bit and then it becomes normal almost, you know? Cool. Because as a coach and mentor, like that's my goal. You know, it, yeah. it, I could come across this like everyone else and just sit back and go, eat this, lift that, take this, don't ask questions, submit your photos at the end. We'll do a before and after photo. I'll use that for marketing till the nth of time and I'll just ignore you as the yeah. weight comes back on. That is, that's that's the unfortunate truth. But as I yes. said, you know, most yeah. guys deep down, like even when people who don't do anything know how to lose weight, eat better and move more. People who have yes. done this multiple times, they've had that drive. They've hit that rock bottom where they've like, I've got to do something. And they become mm. somewhat subject matter experts in, in in weight loss. They know what to do. They know yeah. how to diet. But yeah. then it comes down yeah. to that sustainability factor. There's a missing element. There's a key that they don't have. So definitely, you know, I know that I could have just dieted you down and said, this is it. This is this is your rig. And if you're unhappy with it or you know, mm. if you put the weight back on, it's on you. But what I want to be yeah. able to do is almost make, then make that the bonus. You know, where the initial goal is to get in the shape, in the end, it's like, this is awesome because I'm in shape, but I've actually gained so much more. So if you can sit yeah. back and it's like, I now have an element of confidence, like inner confidence, a bit more certainty, not 100%. Yes. Because as I said, I'm not. No, 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 no. I have. I question, no. I question everything. As you know, I question data when it comes in. But I question yeah. everything because the landscape of what you guys see and what I see, it's changing all the time. There's another promise. Yeah. There's another new supplement. There's another sup training program. There's oh, all yeah, this that's and right. that. Yeah. And you've got to try yeah. and navigate through that minefield. So you need to kind of keep that 1% turned on. It's like, so you can validate it. All right, let's have a look at yeah. this. What's, what are they saying? Pro, con, how would it work within my lifestyle? You're asking me to do how much per week? That's not going to work. Or, or where's the justifiable? No. You know, it, it doesn't work. So, um, but as I mean, like if you've been through this and you feel that your standards have risen your level of application and you know it's something that you can continue working upon yeah, and know definitely. that no matter what goals that you set in the future, that you've got a framework that you can apply to that and confident moving yes. forward, then then that's a winner. Yeah. So awesome. That's, right. that's yeah. cool, man. Thank you for cool. sharing your journey. 
<laughs> on that note, again, my name is Josh from Physique Essentials. Jace is here. If you want to chat any more, feel free to there'll be a link somewhere below or something, a comment on this vid. Reach out, flick your free training. We'll go from there. Thanks, mate. Legend. Thank you. Awesome. Alrighty. Cheers. Bye.